Our sermon today is entitled, The Mystery of Nineveh, Part 1, subtitled, The Elect. The book of Jonah, Chapter 3, we are going to read from the first verse yes. through to the tenth. Jonah, Chapter 3, The Mystery of Nineveh, Part 1, subtitled, The Elect. And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah yes. the, the second time, saying, Yes. Arise. Mm. Go unto Nineveh, mm. that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. So Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh, according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was in exceeding great city of three days' journey. Yes. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey. Yes. And he cried and said, mm. Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. Mm. All right, all right. Thank you, Pastor. So can you see here that when he says, and Jonah began to enter the city, and he cried. The, that word crying is the word for preaching. It means that Amen. Jonah went to Nineveh to mm. preach. He has mm. been sent by God to preach. Yes. Now here is the thing. Jonah comes from the land of Judah. He is a Jew. Mm. And he has been sent to Nineveh. Nineveh is, in, um, is an old and day city mm. of a country called Assyria. Assyria, yes. Assyria is the modern day Iraq. Yes. The capital city of Iraq is Baghdad. I don't know whether Nineveh was, uh, was, was Baghdad or is Mosul because there's another city in, in, uh, in Iraq called Mosul. So, but we know that Nineveh is in Iraq. Iraqis are Gentiles. Is it possible that God would send a Jew to go and preach to Gentiles before the cross. The Gentiles goes by ten government in the unchangeable. He says, "What's that over Ah, go to the Verse verse five. So the people of Nineveh believed God. Ah, and the proclamation. <laughs> The Gentiles believed God, yeah. yes. And, and proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least of them. It's something like that de describing David in First Samuel chapter 12. Mm. Mm. They proclaimed mm. a fast and put on sackcloth mm. from the greatest to the least. Where do they know this from? <laughs> the Gentiles. How do they know this? I'm going to talk about so, so, uh, mm. This is what Pastor Padre was talking about in the morning. Mm. That uh, the scriptures need interpretation yes. of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Mm. Verse 6. For, for where he came unto the king of Nineveh, yes. and he arose from his throne, yes. and he laid his robe from yes. him, yes. and he covered him with sackcloth, and set in ashes. <laughs> 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 the king received a word from the street. Mm -hmm. Jonah did not go to the palace. Mm. He was preaching in the in the city, uh, and and the boys. Someone came to the king and said, "There's a man who's preaching there," mm. and he says, "Nineveh will be overthrown within forty days." Mm. What is the title of his sermon? His sermon is "Repent or Perish." Mm. That's what Jonah was preaching: mm. "Repent or Perish within forty days." <laughs> and the king stands up, and he puts on sackcloth, and he sits mm. in the ashes. Ah, I'm going to A park and king stood up mm. and put on sackcloth and sat mm. in the ashes. Verse 7. And he caused it to be proclaimed and published through Nineveh yes. by the decree of the king and his, and his nobles, yes. saying, Let neither man nor beast, head nor flock, taste anything. Let them not feed nor drink water. Yes. But let men and beast be covered with sackcloth, <laughs> and they cry madly unto God, Yea, let them turn everyone from his <laughs> evil way, and from the violence that is in their hands. Uh, this case even <laughs> more interesting now. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. From yes. the way on the street, pastors, yes. mm -hmm. the king puts a decree. Mm -hmm. He changes the law of the country mm -hmm. yes. because of the word from a street preacher. Mm. And mm. he says, let every man and beast, mm. head or flock, 
not eat anything, mm -hmm. nor drink water. Boots in a ne why, ne mong, as it's an And verse 8 then says, They must cry mightily unto God. Yes. To say cry mightily, that word cry there is the word for praying. So men and beast must pray mm. unto God. Mm. And let men and beast also turn away from their evil mm. and from their violence. My beast, I know it's a crowd, I know to pray to God. Mombe, never don't, never. Zinota, Zinona Matanama. And the city turn away from evil. Mombe is not evil. And from their violence. Yes. Marco Haru, another Udu Zero Aya. Yes. Verse 9. Who can tell if God will turn and repent mm. and turn away from his fierce anger mm. that we perish not? Mm. And God saw their works ah. that they turned from their evil way ah. and God repented of the evil that he had <laughs> said that he would do unto them and he did it not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kwanza baka tenduka wese 100%. 100% all of them. Mm. Mm. From the king to his princes to the presidents to the prime ministers, mm. the ministers, every check or chill and every street kid. <laughs> and the cattle as well. Mm. Men and beast. Mm. They all tend to the Lord. Mm. And God saw the works of the Gentiles mm. and he repented. Mm. Mabasa, ever a ten by a ten vanima basa api. I know a negro and a war. But where else have you seen uh, pastors or brethren? Where else have you seen a preacher being sent by court and goes into a city? Let us say this city is Arari, or is Chopek in South Africa, or is a, is a, is a Lusaka in Zambia. The preacher goes in there and he preaches, and 100% of the people of that city repent. Is that possible? <laughs> when the Lord was here in the flesh, he preached in Jerusalem, he preached in, 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 in well, he preached in Judea, he preached in Galilee, those are the two big provinces there. Mm. But by the time he was resurrected, he was seen by, by just over 500 people, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, after his resurrection. That is the size of church that he had. Just over 500 people. It's not the whole of Jerusalem. He had fed uh, 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 around 5,000 men in Matthew chapter 14. Mm -hmm. Without counting women and children. But upon his resurrection, he's got 2,500 members. Mm -hmm. 500 plus. But Jonah went into a city and everybody <laughs> repented, <laughs> repented mm -hmm. and was turned to God. So, so, so so that, that is incredible. Uh, let's ask another question. Okay, Jonah, you have gone to Nineveh. Everybody has repented. These people are Gentiles. Then what? They don't have the scriptures. They don't have a covenant with God. The Levitical priesthood is not going to help them. Jonah can't take them to Jerusalem, mm -hmm. where the temple is, mm -hmm. because they are Gentiles. Mm -hmm. You remember that the, the, the Jews almost killed Paul mm -hmm. yes. because of, of Trophimus, Trophimus yes. who was an Ephesians. Mm -hmm. what, what if Jonah brings the whole city of Nineveh? <laughs> 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 you are going to be killed. <laughs> so what is the meaning, meaning of all this? That's where the mystery is, the mystery of Nineveh. Mm -hmm. And this is the mystery. Nineveh was given a great task by God mm -hmm. to to play the drama of the elect. Mm. The elect, the story of the elect is like this. Everyone whose name mm -hmm. is written in the book of life mm -hmm. will be saved. Mm -hmm. That is the mystery of Nineveh. Mm -hmm. Every person mm -hmm. who is written, whose name is written in the book of life mm -hmm. will be saved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that is the mystery. That is the mystery of Nineveh. It's just, mm. it's just, it's, it's just amaz amazing. John chapter 3, verse 16 says, For God so loved the world, mm -hmm. 
that he gave his only begotten son. Yes. That whosoever believes in him should not perish, mm -hmm. but have everlasting life. Yes. So every person whose name is written in the book of life will believe. And those who believe will be given everlasting life. But why do they believe? Acts chapter 13, verse 48. That's where you will see the difference now between people who live outside Nineveh and the people who live in Nineveh. Verse 48, Acts chapter 13. And when the Gentiles heard this, yes. they were glad and glorified the word of the Lord. Yes. And as many as were ordained to eternal life yes. believed. So can you, can you highlight that word ordained? The word ordained, please. And as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. So why did these people believe? It's because they were ordained, mm -hmm. Pastor Paloy, yes. to eternal life. Yes, yes. The people of Nineveh, the, uh, in their entirety, mm -hmm. they all believed because they were ordained to eternal life. Mm -hmm. All the elect, none of them will be left. They will all be saved because they are ordained to eternal life. This is a drama that was played by the city of Nineveh. And that is the mystery of Nineveh. Let's just say, touch on the man and beast that, uh, that we see in, in verse 8. But let man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily to the Lord. Yeah. What is the meaning of that? Romans chapter 1, verse 16. Romans chapter 1, verse 16. What is the meaning of that? Yes. For I am not ashamed of the gospel not, of Jesus Christ. I am not ashamed of the gospel, uh, gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation. It is the power of God unto salvation. To them that believe. To, the, to, to them that believe. To the Jew first. To the people. And to the gender. And to the beast. Yes. <laughs> so that's where, that's where man and beast is. Mm. That's, what is the, that's the meaning of man and beast there. Yeah. <laughs> that scripture was not taken about cows, but cows were representing Gentiles. Mm. Acts chapter 26, verse 23. Acts chapter 26, verse 23. Men and beast. That Christ should suffer. Christ should suffer. And he should be the first that, would, that should rise. From the dead. Christ should be the first to rise from the dead. And should show light unto the people. Should show light unto the people. And to the gentiles. And to the beasts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Buddha guy. Yes. Eh? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go back to Jonah chapter, Jonah chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. So that is the mystery of Nineveh. They are pl they're playing the drama of the elect. Every one, each and every member of the elect, everyone whose name is written in the book of life, I, I, I want to repeat this over and over again, will be saved. Yes. That's why the people of Nineveh, all of them were saved. Mm -hmm. Jonah chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, yes. the son of Amittai, saying, Yes. Arise. Arise. Go to Nineveh. Go to Nineveh. That great city. Yes. And they cry against it. Yes. For their wickedness is come and is come up before me. So I'm sure we have already seen that Jonah, in the mystery of Nineveh, Jonah is playing the drama of Christ. Yes. So Jonah is a type of Christ. And Jonah is being sent to Nineveh yes. by God. Meaning that Jonah is representing the Lord. Mm -hmm. When the Lord was sent from heaven, you can see that in First John chapter 4, verse 9. Uh, the, the Lord was sent, and it says, and this was manifested, and this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only begotten son mm -hmm. into the world. That world is the world of the elect, that we might live through him. And John mm -hmm. 3 verse 17 also says that God did not send his son into the world mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. condemn the world, mm -hmm. but that the world through him might be saved. Mm. He is not saving the whole world. Mm. He is only saving the people of Nineveh. Yes. That is the mystery of Nineveh. Mm. <laughs> so God sent his son to Nineveh. Mm. A drama that was played by Jonah. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Macarono next midway. So Jonah, Jonah, Jonah one and two. So we have seen that God sent Jonah to Nineveh. Uh, we want to have a look at verse three now. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tashish. We have always said that every time you see that word "but," pay yeah. attention. Yes. Because yeah. it's going to contradict or, or bring a different thought to what has been said before. Yes. Yeah. What has been said is that Jonah was sent to Nineveh, mm -hmm. but. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tashish from yes. the presence of the Lord, hey. and went down to Joppa. Yes. And he found a ship going to Tashish. Yes. So he paid the fare thereof, and went down into it to go with them unto Tashish from the presence of the Lord. This is very interesting. Major Tim would like to give us uh, the map of Jonah. Mm. We want to see uh, where Nineveh is and where, where Jonah went. So that is Jonah's map there. Jonah's map. Can you see where it says uh, Jerusalem of Judah? Where there's that uh, A there uh, highlighted in red. Mm -hmm. That is the, the, the coast town of Joppa. There is Joppa there. If you can see that clearly. That's where Jonah boarded the ship in Joppa. Joppa is where Tabitha is. Tabitha or Dokas comes from. Yes. So there is Assyria there, which is point B there. Mm. Can you see where Assyria is? And there is Nineveh next to, next to it. Mm. Nineveh was the capital city of Assyria. Yes. The distance along that route from Joppa to Nineveh is 800, appro approximately 800 kilometers. Now look at where Tashish is. Tashish is actually in Spain. Spain, yes. You have to cross the Mediterranean Sea to get to Tashish. And Tashish along that route is 4,000 kilometers from Joppa. So, and it's the opposite direction to Nineveh. <laughs> Jonah, just him going to Nineveh. Instead of him going very, very close, 800 kilometers to the right. He, he goes to the left opposite. <laughs> 4,000 kilometers. <laughs> that is, so that, that is Jonah for you. Mm. He goes 4,000 kilometers away. I, and I want to show you very quickly why Jonah did that. Uh, Second Kings chapter 15, verse 29. Why did Jonah choose to go to Tarshish instead of going close by to Nineveh? 2 Kings chapter 15, verse 29. In the days of, Pe of Pekah, king of Israel, came Tiglath-Pileser, yes, king of Assyria, king of Assyria and, took, and took Ejon. Those are the towns of Judah. Yes. yes. And Abel, Bethmaka, yes. and, and Janoa, yes. and Kadesh, yes. and Hazor, yes. and Gilead. We are familiar with Gilead. And Galilee. We are familiar with the province of All Galilee. All the land of Naphtali. We are familiar with Naphtali. And he carried them captive he carried to Assyria. Them. He carried them captives to Assyria. The king of Nineveh took the ten tribes of Israel into captivity. Mm. After taking them into captivity, it became it become a big mess up there. Mm. Because they then intermingled with Gentiles there. Mm. and they had mingled seed or mingled blood. They became the Samaritans. Mm. They never returned home. But these have the blood of Jacob. Jonah knew that, and he hated Nineveh for that. Because it's the king of Nineveh who did this. Mm. He took 10 tribes of Israel, and they never returned home. The Jews that we know today came from Judah. They are the ones who were based in Jerusalem not the ones who were in, in, the, in the top tribes, mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, in, the, in the province of, of Dan, at the top north, mm -hmm. whose capital was Samaria. Samaria yes. Those became Samaritans. Yes. Jonah didn't like the people of Nineveh. Second Kings chapter 19, verses 36 and 37. You'll find that the, the king's princes, or the king's sons, killed the king. Two sons killed the king so that one of their brothers can arise and sit on the throne of his father. Mm -hmm. That's how terrible the people of Nineveh 
where? Verse 36. So Sennacherib, king yes. of Assyria, departed yes. and went and returned. Yes. And he dwelt at Nineveh. He dwelt at Nineveh? Yes. And it came to pass yes. as he was worshipping in the house of Nishro, yes. his God. Can you see that they worship idols? Yes. Jonah doesn't want to, to have anything to do with people who worship idols. Yes. He was worshipping in the house of Nishro, his God. Yes. That Adramelech mm. and Shareza, yes. his sons. His sons of the king. Yes. Smote him with the sword. They smote the king. And they escaped into the land of Armenia. Yes. And Asahadon, yes. Asahadon his yes. son, reigned in his state. So their brother Asahadon mm -hmm. reigned in his state, mm -hmm. in the state of his father. Mm -hmm. After his brothers had killed his father. He mm -hmm. accepted that as well. He is part of the conspiracy. Mm -hmm. This is how, how brutal and how terrible the people of Nineveh are. Mm -hmm. That's why Jonah hated them. If you, if you look at Jonah chapter 4, verse 1, you'll find that when God uh, uh, did not destroy Nineveh, Jonah was angry. Mm -hmm. But it displeased Jonah exceedingly, and he was very angry. Why do we let people... <laughs> 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 These are terrible people. <laughs> he is a Jew. He knows what magenta is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Neham. Nahum chapter 1 verse 1. Nahum chapter home. Nahume chapter 1 verse 1. We are trying to look at why Jonah did not go to Nineveh. Instead opted to go to Tashish. The burden of, of Nineveh. Yes. The book of the vision of Nahum, the, ec the echo shite. Yes. God is jealous and the Lord revenged. Yes. The Lord revenged yes. and is furious. The Lord is furious with Nineveh. Yes. The Lord will take vengeance yes. on his adversaries. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he, reserve, he, he reserved wrath for his enemies. God reserves wrath for his enemies. And yes. his enemies are Ninevites. This is the burden of Nineveh. Chapter 3, Nehem, chapter 3, verses 1 to 3. This is the burden of Nineveh, according to 1, verse 1. Now we want... Chapter 3, verse 1. Woe to the blood city. Nineveh is a bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. It's a city full of blood. It's a city full of lies. It's a food. A city is full of rapper. Mm -hmm. the, the prey departed not. Mm -hmm. The victims do not depart from Nineveh. The, the noise of a whip. The noise of a whip. And the noise of the rattling of the wheels. And and the rattling of the, of the wheels of the chariots. Yes, and of the prancing horses. Yes. And of the jumping chariots. Yes. The horseman lifted up both his, both the bright sword and the glittering spear. The sword and the spear yes. are always wielded in Nineveh. Yes, and it, there is a multitude of slain. There is a multitude of people killed in Nineveh. And a great number of carcasses. A great number of bodies of people on the streets of Nineveh. And there is none end of their corpses. There is none end of corpses. They stumble upon their corpses. Can I mm -hmm. In the city of Nineveh. Mm -hmm. The Ninevites are violent. Yes. They are brutal. They have no mercy. Yes. Actually, if you read the history books, Pastor mm -hmm. Boloy, it says that the, the, the people of Nineveh used to kill their victims. And all this, by the way, is, are, are not soldiers. Mm -hmm. They are not troops. They are civilians. Yes. This is how they killed people. Either they skin the person alive mm -hmm. and let them die a slow death okay. from their injuries, or they bury them alive. Mm -hmm. And when they buried people, they, don't, they didn't bury them horizontally like what we see. Mm -hmm. Instead, they will they, 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 they they dig a, 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 deep, a deep hole mm. and put the person vertically mm. and just leave the neck and the head out. The rest of the body, they leave it buried. So, just, so that the person can die either of hunger or thirst or they are attacked by wild animals. Mm -hmm. That's how brutal the Ninevites were. Very, very, very cruel people. It is believed that cities which were conquered by Ninevites, they would prefer to commit suicide than to fall into the hands of, the, of Nineveh. 
because of their cruelty. Mm -hmm. Very, very cruel people, the people of Nineveh. But listen to this. Those are the people who turned to God and God accepted them. <laughs> cruel as they are. Mm -hmm. What a wonderful God we worship. Mm -hmm. yes. This is the wonderful grace of Jesus. Wonderful grace of God. Nineveh was playing a drama that God is going to save the elect, no matter how brutal and violent they were. Mm -hmm. God is determined to save them regardless. He is going to apply his mess. There is a big gulf between God and the people of Nineveh. Mm -hmm. And God was determined to close that gulf and reach on to the people of Nineveh. And he used Jonah to play that drama so that we will understand that the elect will be saved by grace. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. <laughs> that is the mystery of Nineveh. That's the mystery of Nineveh. And in, 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 in Jonah chapter 3, verse 10, Pastor, where, mm. it, says, uh, where, where it says that uh, God repented, mm. is, he, he does not repent per se. Mm. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Mm. Let's read Romans chapter 6, verse 23. That, that is the ex explanation of Jonah chapter 3, verse 10. For the wages of sin is death, mm -hmm. but the gift of God is eternal life mm. through Jesus Christ our Lord. Mm. So, this explains why the writer of the book of Jonah said that God repented mm. or God changed his mind. Mm. He did not change his mind per se, mm. but what he did, instead of giving the Ninevites the wages of sin, which is death, mm -hmm. he gave them the gift of Christ. Mm -hmm. And they are getting eternal life. Yes. That's the mystery of Nineveh. <laughs> The salvation of the Gentiles, yes. the salvation of the elect. <laughs> First time Zimba. Mm. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's becoming a word pastor, Juma. We are really uh, blessed by this ministration. Yeah, it, it, it really feels that the, there are a lot of myst deep mysteries in, the, in this book of Jonah. As small as it appears, but it's pregnant of <laughs> mysteries about Christ. The salvation of the Gentiles, the salvation of the elect. Little did we know that the beast they represented the Gentiles, and the people represented the Jews. Yeah, according the, to to Romans one verse sixteen and Acts chapter twenty six verse twenty and twenty three. Yeah, the elect Jews and the elect the Gentiles. Gentiles. Exactly. So we are those. Uh, we are those beasts. As Gentiles, we are those beasts which mm -hmm. repented, and and. Apostle Paul also mentioned this in the book of uh, Romans chapter 9. Uh, Romans chapter 9 verse 24. It says, Even us whom he had called not of the Jews only, mm. but also, also of the Gentiles. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting, Pastor Chuma. It is, Pastor Paloy. Yes, I'm enjoying because uh, there are a lot of uh, mysteries here. Yes. Uh, even how uh, God decided to choose uh, the city of Nineveh mm. as a point of reference to represent <laughs> the city of uh, of God, mm. uh, which is the New Testament Church. Yes, uh, the headquarters of that uh, being in the Gentile territory, mm. uh, which also was prophetic uh, yes. that God was going to establish His kingdom, yes. which is not geographically uh, stationed. Uh -huh like the Nineveh uh, city. Yes. But this city is going to constitute uh, or is going to be based mm. much uh, from the, uh, the, the, the salvation of the believers who are coming from yes. the Gentile yes. nations. Yes. And um, also, Pastor, mm. uh, you have read Jonah chapter 1. Mm. And I, I, I really was touched when I saw the map there which you showed us. Yes. The distance that uh, Jonah <laughs> was committing himself uh, to go to Tashish versus um, the distance which he was supposed to travel to, mm. to, to Nineveh. Mm. You see? Yes. Uh, it's a long journey, it's a long yeah. journey. Uh, that he established to go. Mm. And for that long journey, mm. obviously, 
the longer the journey, uh, the, the, the higher the fare uh, or the cost. Yes. Because we are told there that um, he actually paid. Yes, he paid. Mm. He paid yes. for mm. the whole uh, journey to Tashi. Yeah, 4,000 kilometers. Yes, of course, he didn't arrive there, we know no, what didn't. happened. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but he, paid the, full he price. paid the full price. Yes. Mm. And uh, I, I don't know, Pastor, I don't want to steal your message <laughs> here, but there's something where we're, 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 we're heading. Get into it, Pastor, whatever yeah. I see. <laughs> 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 there, yeah. is, there is somewhere where we're heading there. Yes. Yes. And uh, when we see the the payment of the price now, mm. we see that if, if Nineveh was the New Testament church, which <laughs> means en route to the New Testament church, mm. he decided to pay uh, to go to Tashish, mm. which represents um, his dispensation uh, in the law uh -huh. uh, of Amen. Moses, uh -huh. where he had to pay, mm. remember, he had to put on sackcloth, yes. he had to put on, on the flesh. Mm. He had to uh, pay by way of taking off his glory. Yes. Mm. And then uh, through the sufferings, we know he suffered right from the day he was born mm. in the flesh yes. mm. up to the cross. Mm. And we know the end story of this journey where he ended up in, he ended up in the belly of the well, yes. mm. which we now know uh, it represents the three days and three nights. Mm in which our Lord was in the belly of the earth. Mm. So we know that the, 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 the Tashish journey, it, it actually necessitated him to be in the world's belly. Yes. That is all that he paid for. Yes, mm. that's what he paid uh, for. When we were growing up, Pastor mm. Chuma and mm. Pastor Mzima, we were being warned mm. not to be like Jonah, yeah. who was sent by God to go to Nineveh. <laughs> but because of his mischief, he went he to Tashish. <laughs> So we're being warned, don't be like Jonah, you see. Jonah uh, disobeyed God. But we now know the story. I don't want to go there, Pastor, it's yes. for the yeah. message. Thank you, thank you, Pastor. Thank you for that. Yes, it's very yeah. interesting. So yeah. when Jonah, uh, instead of going to Nineveh, he goes to Tashish, mm. we said that Jonah is playing the drama of the Lord. Yes. Mm. The Lord, we have seen in John 3, 16. Yes. And, and Acts 13, verse 48, that the Lord was actually sent to the elect, mm. to the world of the elect, mm. but he went to the people of the law according to, uh, to, to, to Galatians chapter 4, verse 4. He went to the law. He went to Tashish. Back end of 4,000 kilometers. <laughs> he, he, but when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son, made yes. of a woman, made under the law, mm. to redeem those that, that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. Mm. So instead of going to the elect, which is the elect Jews and the elect Gentiles. Mm. He went to the people of the law, but under the law. Mm. Mm. He went to Tashish. Mm. He went 4,000 kilometers. He went to Tashish. 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 But can you see that uh, they are Gentiles? Mm. They have gone to Tashish. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> The distance between a person mm -hmm. who says we are saved by grace yeah. through faith mm -hmm. in Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and is a gift from God. Mm -hmm. And a person who says that if I keep the Sabbath and pay tithe, then I am saved. Distance yeah. actually yes, 4,000 kilometers. I used to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why then? Instead of what I don't you know, you are not going to touch yeah, 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 yeah. So Jonah decided to go to Tashish mm -hmm. instead of Nineveh, and I've shown you the reasons why Jonah uh, decided to go to Tashish. But uh, in verse 5, we saw that Jonah went down to Tashish. Mm -hmm. Was it verse 5 or verse 3? Uh, we want to see, yes, yeah, so th that's it there. Jonah rose up and flee unto Tashish from the presence of the Lord and went down to Joppa. Mm -hmm. So that is the first down. Can you, can you highlight that down, down to Joppa? So he went down to Joppa mm -hmm. uh, and found a ship going to Tashish. So he paid the, the fare thereof. And when there's another down, 
He went down into it. Can you see the other mm -hmm. down? Mm -hmm. He went down into it. So we have seen two downs. Mm -hmm. We want to see another down. Is it verse 4 or 5? It must be verse 5. Can you go to verse 5? We'll be skipping some verses. Yes, verse five. but the part B, but Jonah was gone down into the sides ah. of the ship. Ah. <laughs> and he lay and was fast asleep. Jonah had <laughs> gone down into mm. the sides of the ship. So there are three towns there. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and we have said that, we're saying that yeah. Jonah plays the drama of Christ. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so the Lord was sent from heaven mm. by his father. Yes. In Galatians 4 verse 4. Mm. He went down to the earth mm -hmm. and was found in the womb of Mary. Mm. The virgin mm. birth. So that is the first town. Yes. Mm. And then he went up on the cross. Yeah. Mm. And went down into the grave. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is the second town. Yes. Mm -hmm. When he was in the grave, he went down to the heart of the earth. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is Jonah there. The third town. <laughs> the third town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Amen. Now, Lim Nand, his name, 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 when Jonah did this, had it been written, maybe Jonah was going to have a bit more understanding. Whither shall I go from thy spirit? Mm. Or whither shall I flee from thy presence? <laughs> yes. If I, ascend, if, if I ascend, if I ascend up into heaven, yes. thou art there. Thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, if I go to hell, behold, thou art you there. You are there as well. If I take the wings of the morning, if I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the utmost parts of the sea, yes, even there shall thy hand lead me. Even there you will be there leading me. And thy right hand shall hold me. Thy mm. righteous hand shall hold me. Yes. <laughs> yes. If I say, yeah. surely the darkness shall cover me. The darkness shall cover me. I'm very even sure the night that. shall be light about me. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The darkness hideth not from thee. <laughs> In the darkness does not hide from thee. But the night shineth as the day. Ah. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. The darkness <laughs> and the light are both alike to thee. They are both alike to thee. Darkness, ne light. So I go for an Akuna go no man. You can run, but you can't hide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Jonah chapter one verse seven. Jonah chapter 1, verse 7. We will just. I just and want to and they that. said, everyone to his fellow. Yes. Come and let us cast lots. So this time there had been a storm now, Pastor. Mm -hmm. There had been a storm. So they are wondering mm -hmm. who, who has caused this? These are the mariners. Mm -hmm. They have sailed along that route several mm -hmm. times for mm -hmm. many years. They mm -hmm. have never met such a storm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this time they are carrying somebody else and mm -hmm. they want to find out who, 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 caused, who caused this. Yes. That we may know. For whose cause this evil is upon us? Yes. So they cast they lots. cast lots, and the lot fell upon Jonah. Mm. Proverbs chapter sixteen verse thirty three. <laughs> they cast lots, mm -hmm. and the lot fell upon Jonah. Give us the NASB version. Yes. The lot is cast into the lap. The lot. The lot is cast into the lap. Yes. But it's every. Decision is from the Lord. Every time you see a Lord being cast, mm -hmm. the decision of the Lord comes from the Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, who chose Jonah? The Lord. It's the Lord. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's the Lord who chose Jonah. Mm. It's not Marinas. It's not necessarily the Lord. Mm. But it's Jonah. And we have said that Jonah is a type of Christ. Mark chapter 15, verses 7 to 14. The Lord is standing here. There's a rope called Barabbas. Mm. And Pilate is going to release one of the two between Barabbas and the Lord. People must make a choice. They must cast to the Lord. Uh -huh. Yes. And so Pilate. Verse 7. Verse 7. And there was one named Barabbas. Yes. Which lay bound with them that had made insurrection with him. Mm who had committed murder in the insurrection. Yes. And the multitude crying aloud began to desire him to mm. do as he had ever done unto them. Yes. But Pilate answered them, mm. saying, will, will you that I release unto you the king of the Jews? Yes. 
for he knew that the chief priest had delivered him for envy. <laughs> but the chief priest moved the people yes. that he should rather release Barabbas yes. unto them. And Pilate answered and said unto them, What will ye then that I shall do unto him whom you call the king of the Jews? Mm. And they cried out again, Crucify, Crucify him. him. Then Pilate said unto them, mm. Why? What evil hath he done? Yes. And they cried out the more exceedingly, Crucify him. Crucify him anyway. And so Pilate will. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Crucify him anyway. Mm. No, he hasn't done any evil. What evil has he done? Mm. Crucify him. Mm -hmm. They have cast the lot. Mm -hmm. But who determined this lot? It's the Lord. Yes, yes. It's the Lord. So yes. who chose? Who chose Jesus? Between Jesus and Barabbas, I have always, I have always said that. Uh, I have always said that uh, the Jews were wrong in choosing Barabbas. Barabbas. Mm. I have always said said that, mm -hmm. but it's not actually the Jews. Mm. And Acts chapter two, verse twenty-two and twenty-three explain that it's not yes. the Jews. Mm -hmm. Who chose Barabbas? Yes. <laughs> Ye men of Israel, yes. hear these words. Yes. Jesus of Nazareth, yes. a man approved of God yes. among mm -hmm. you by miracles yes. and wonders yes. and signs, mm -hmm. which God did by him in the midst of you, yes. as ye, ye yourself also know. Yes. Him being delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of God. Mm -hmm. He was delivered yes. by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge mm. of God. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> you have taken mm. and by wicked hands have crucified, you have crucified him. Mm. So mm. it's God who chose Jesus. Mm. Yes. Because if Bar Barabbas is chosen mm. and, he, and he dies, if Barabbas dies, what good will that for the people? What good will that, will that be for Nino? What good will that be for the elect if Barabbas dies? Nothing. Nothing. There is Everybody nothing. will be lost. Mm. Yes. But the just must die for mm. the unjust. Mm. For once we hate sinners, mm. Christ died for us. The yes. just for the unjust. That yes. is First Peter 3 verse 18. Yes. That the just must die for the unjust. So Jesus must die for the unjust. He must even die for Barabbas. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Dandy tells a Pama Pama wearing a Patavering a Jona or a one pair. Tishona Guti Chikepe Chakatanga would have been your dog a Gunga I penga. Waka Twitter say no Paka Domijena, no Bata Jona. Tad Zay so Kubam Gushimera Kamuru with a Guti. Jona where Michelin is our Christ. Yes. Korea would Jona Paganga, she Paka Baronage in a Nemijena. Yes. Judas in a campaign of the other people. Mm. Judas was one of the disciples of Jesus. He is the one who knew Jesus the most than these ones. And he came and, and he kissed Jesus, demonstrating the, to those that he had come with him to handle him that this is the one whom we are supposed to crucify. So, mm. But this issue Obviously, Jesus was supposed to die so that the, all the elect would benefit. These are the, the words which Caiaphas said in the book of John, chapter, chapter 11. Yes. From verse, 40, from verse 48, mm. in fact. He says, And we let him, uh, verse 49, And one of them named Caiaphas, mm. being the high priest, that same year said unto them, You know nothing at all. No, consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people and that the whole nation perish not. And this spake ye not of himself, mm. but being high priest that year, 
he prophesied that Jesus ah. should die for that nation. And not for that nation only, but that also he should gather together in one, the children of God that were scattered abroad. So can we say that <laughs> the Jews chose Jesus? No, it was God who it chose God. Jesus. <laughs> it was God. This was prophesied. Yes. <laughs> God is Jesus who has to die. Yes. Ah, 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 Yes. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Jonah chapter 1, verses 11 and 12. Let's read that one very quickly. Then said they unto him, Yes, what did they say? What shall we do unto thee? What shall we do? That the sea may become yes. unto us. Yes. For the sea rod, yes. for the sea rod and was what? tempestuous. Yes. Mm. Verse 12. And he said unto them, Take me up. Take me up. And cast me forth into the sea. Yeah. So shall the sea be calm unto you. Verse 15. So they took up Jonah. Yes. And cast him forth into the sea. Yes. Mm. And the sea ceased from a region. So that is that is where Calvary is now, Pastor. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is Calvary. That's yes. the picture of Calvary right there. Yes. Yes. When he says when Jonah says, Take me up, mm -hmm. and they take him up. Mm -hmm. I used to hear a Christian preacher say that uh, the Lord was nailed on the cross. Mm. Meaning that uh, the, the Romans, uh, Bagaisa cross, mm. uh, they, they, they dug a hole and, and put the cross in there. When it was upright, they then lifted the Lord up mm. and nailed him on the cross. Mm -hmm. That is not true. What is true is that the, the cross was laid down and the Lord was laid on the cross and they nailed him to the cross and then they took him up. That's why Jonah says, take me up. And the Lord, in, 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 in John chapter 12, he says, And I, if I am lifted up, mm. I will draw all men mm. unto me. Unto me. Yes. So, all the winds of strife, if you take me up, if mm. I am lifted up. That is the picture of Calvary right there. <laughs> so that was John chapter 12, verse 38. Yes. Verse 32, you know, uh, in I, if I am lifted up. I want, to, I want us to root, read Luke chapter 18, verse 31 to 34 very quickly. I want to show you that Jonah was not afraid of the sea. By the way, it does not matter how good a swimmer you are. When you have been thrown into the sea, you will die. You will drown. If you are thrown in the sea, you will die. Mm -hmm. But Jonah is not afraid of that. He says, uh, as soon as it is, just take me up and throw me into the mm. sea. And he's playing the drama of Christ. Mm. Yes. Then he took unto him the twelve and yes. said unto them, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem. Yes. And all things that are written by the prophets yes. concerning the Son of Man shall be accomplished. Yes. For he shall be delivered unto the Gentiles. I mm -hmm. shall be delivered unto the Gentiles, mm -hmm. meaning the Romans. Yes, mm -hmm. and shall be mocked. I shall mm -hmm. be mocked. And spitefully entreated. I shall mm -hmm. be spitefully entreated. And spitted on. I shall be spitted mm -hmm. on. And they shall scourge him. I shall be scourged. Put him to death. I shall be killed. And the third day he shall rise again. He, he, wa was he worried? <laughs> no. He, was <laughs> he wasn't worried. worried at all. Yes. Mm -hmm. Otherwise he would have avoided going to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he says, in India, no one Mm -hmm. Because Jesus are going to rise. Mm -hmm. Did you know? Mm -hmm. I don't want to take, just take me up mm -hmm. and throw me in the water. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Uh, yes. Uh, this is amazing. This is amazing. It's amazing, Pastor. Yes, Pastor Baloy. So he paid for, for that. That's what he paid for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's what he paid for. So, Jonah 1, verse 17. Wow. Jonah 1, verse 17, and I would like Matthew chapter 12, verses 38 to 40. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah. The Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah. And Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Jonah was in the belly of the ship, fish three days and three nights. Yeah. Matthew chapter 12, verse 38 to 40. Then certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we would see a sign from thee. Yes. yes. But he answered and said unto them, Yes. And if we and a daughter's generation seeketh after a sign, yes. and there shall no sign be given to it, yeah. but the sign of the prophet Jonah. Yes. yes. 
For as Jonas was three days and three nights yes. in the whale's belly, yes. so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights mm. in the heart of the earth. Mm. How clear are the scriptures? Yes. It did uh, say that the God had prepared a well mm -hmm. for Jonah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the Lord then says, that sign, the sign mm -hmm. of Jonah, mm -hmm. was the sign of me, mm -hmm. was preaching about me, mm -hmm. because the sign of man mm -hmm. will also be in the heart of the earth three yes. days and three nights. So mm -hmm. that is the well. Saka, mm -hmm. the well, the is the grave in the heart of the earth. Mm -hmm. And so with the grave now, with the grave, um, Jonah went into the mouth of the well first. Mm. Mm. He did not stay in the mouth. Mm. Yes. He went to the belly. Yes. Mm. So the grave, the belly represents the grave. Ishe pabaka vikwa. Avana kukuzombo mkara. Mkrev mwaya mkwiro. Vaka darika. Vaka enda to the heart of the, of the earth. Mm. <laughs> Those three days and three nights. Mm. <laughs> So the mouth was just there to swallow. It was yes. an access point. It was an access yes, point. Yes. yes. To the to the belly. Yes. To the belly. Yes. And and I can tell you now that I have seen a shark mm. in real life. I've also seen a whale in re, mm. in real life. In New Zealand, there's a place called, a place called Kaikora. It's a small town. There's a season where where the whales come uh, on the on the on the shore, and you can go and watch them. They are very 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 humongous mammals they mm. are they are huge so you can go and watch them it's three hours drive from christ church going towards picton the, that's the north along the coast so i have heard some preachers say that jonah was swallowed by a shark that's not true mm. what a shark does when it catches its prey it crushes it with its teeth mm. kills it chews mm. it and then swallows it mm. had jonah been swallowed by a shark jonah was going to die the drama of Christ was not going to was not going to come out mm -hmm. true mm -hmm. because Christ cannot die in the grave mm -hmm. cannot rot in the grave when he goes in he must come out mm -hmm. so when Jonah goes into the, into, into the mouth and the belly of the well he must come out alive mm -hmm. so Jonah was swallowed by a well because a whale does not chew, does not bite, it swallows. The fishes that are, are eaten by a whale are actually swallowed alive, and they die in the belly of the whale. Mm -hmm. So Jonah was swallowed by the whale. But before, before, before I cover that, lest I forget, the whale was prepared by God. <laughs> Media team, can you give us that map again, Jonah's yeah, map? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I was going to forget. So there is Tashish there, 4,000 kilometers away from Joppa. And Nineveh is, is only 800 kilometers from Joppa. Jonah is going to Tashish, and he's in, in, in the ship. Mm -hmm. He meets with a well there, and the well, well swallows him. If this well was heading to Tashish as well, then the mm -hmm. well made a U-turn and went to Nineveh. <laughs> mm -hmm. because, because it was prepared by the Lord, by the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. If this well was from Tashish, going to Nineveh, then it, it, it caused Jonah to make a U-turn and took him to Nineveh mm -hmm. because it was prepared by the Lord. And the digestive system of the well is the one that kills mm -hmm. the food that has been eaten by the well. Mm -hmm. Jonah was in there, inside mm -hmm. the bed of the well, mm -hmm. but he did not die from the digestive system. Yes. Digestive system, yeah, yeah, well, malfunctioned because there's a man called Jonah inside mm -hmm. there. All the gases and everything that are in there, they don't bother Jonah. He even prayed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and again, Pastor, verse 17, it says, Now the Lord he had prepared. Yes. He had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah. Yes. The scripture does not say, Now the Lord prepared. No. As if the Lord prepared. The well, the time Jonah was thrown into the sea. Mm -hmm. Yes. The time Jonah was thrown into the sea, mm -hmm. the well was already in existence. The well was already there, mm -hmm. which means the well pre-existed Jonah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Jonah yes. 
Mm. Yes. Yes. Which means to say this well was prepared for a mission mm. to swallow up Jonah. Which means it was there watching, <coughs> waiting for Jonah to be cast into the sea. Mm. And immediately mm -hmm. it then comes and swallow up Jonah. <laughs> it was already there. Yes, Pastor. And <laughs> now with the mystery that Pastor Chuma is sharing mm. to us, you now see that uh, part of the preparation of this world mm. was to swallow other people. Yes. yes. This, the, for, for, for the world to know <laughs> mm. Huh, mm. that when a, a person is thrown into the sea, mm. him, I must swallow that. Yes. Mm. And, and, and that, that capability yes. to swallow men mm. was actually in the making of the world, like yes. what Pastor Chuma said. Yes. yes. You have to you have to be to have the the the, the necessary uh, growth. You know, for long ago, Kura, we is a good thing. One say, how can you tell a guy how to answer him? Is a man. Was a funny man. So can we arrange God's ram? Mokai, where we? You know, that we pay the check of answer. Yes. 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 Many. A number of people, yes. and those people have actually died. Yes, mm. yes. You see, mm. so there were certain conditions mm. that God had prepared in the world mm. to say, if a person comes and he is in this state, mm. Mm. Huh, then swallow that person, and mm. the, that person disappears. Mm. So the swallowing, what the Lord was now doing here is, mm. what God was now doing is, yes. I have prepared this world yes. for this mission. Yes, mm. but now. My son is going to go there mm. in, the, in, the, in the heart of the earth. Let's see whether the, the same whale <laughs> which swallowed other people yeah. is also going to destroy this son. Mm. So there were certain conditions yeah. that mm. yeah. uh, Pastor Chuma mm. is sharing with us, yes. which were part of uh, the preparation yes. which God has done mm. to this world. Mm. Saka, <laughs> yaga naka nyeye, Pastor, yaga naka Pastor yeah. because the, the Lord is not afraid of the grave. Yo, he's not mm. afraid. The grave mm. is not to, going to yes. do anything. Yes. If yes. Jonah prayed, because Jonah prayed inside the veil of the well, mm -hmm. the Lord actually went to preach. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> First Peter 3, verse 18. First Peter yes. 3, verse 18. Vashishema, vashita. Vashishema, shaya. For Christ also had once suffered for sins. Mm -hmm. The just for the unjust. Yes. That he might bring us unto God. Yes. Being put to death in the flesh. Yes. But quickened by the spirit. Yes. By which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison. Yes. Which sometime were disobedient. <laughs> when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah. While the ark was a preparing. Wherein few, that is, eight souls were saved by water. Ephesians 4 verses 8. Ephesians 4, this is it. So the, the Lord did not stay in the grave. Yes. He went down to the heart of the earth yes. and went to preach to the spirits which were in prison. Wherefore yes. he said, What does he say? When he ascended up on high, yes. he led captivity captive yes. and gave gifts unto men. Yes. Mm. Now that he ascended, now that he ascended, what is it? Yes. But that he also descended first into the lower parts to of the earth. To the heart of the earth. Mm. Yes. He descended to hell. Yes. Mm. Let's find out if Jonah actually said that uh, he was in hell. Jonah chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. Then Jonah prayed unto the what Lord did he say? his mm. God yes. out of the fish's belly. Yes. And said, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto yes. the Lord, and he heard me. Yes. Out of the belly of hell <laughs> cried I, <laughs> and thou heardest my Can you highlight that word hell there? <laughs> <laughs> Jonah says, I was in hell. Yes. Bye bye. When I was praying, I mm -hmm. was in hell, mm -hmm. in the belly of the fish. And mm -hmm. we have said that the belly, mm -hmm. the belly mm -hmm. represents the heart of the earth. Mm -hmm. yes. Let's see if the Lord actually was said in the scriptures that he went to hell. Mm -hmm. And Acts chapter two, verse twenty-five. Acts chapter two, verse twenty-five. For David speaketh concerning him. Yes. I foresaw the Lord always before my face. Yes. For he is on my right hand. He is on my right hand. That I should not be moved. That I should not be moved. Therefore did my heart rejoice. Yes. And my tongue was glad. My tongue was glad. Moreover, also my flesh shall rest in hope. Yes. 
because thou would not leave my soul in hell, uh -huh. neither would thou suffer thine old one to see corruption. The Lord went to hell, and mm. hell was not a problem to him, because yes. hell was prepared by him. Uh -huh. Yes, It was prepared by God. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> it wasn't a problem to him. Uh -huh. And he wouldn't see corruption, mm. even after three days and three nights. Yes. Uh -huh. A normal body pastor would rot. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. He did not rot, yeah. because the scriptures foretold that. Uh -huh. He had that, this, that commandment from the Father. Can I and I wave? Yes. As we take it once or more. As it. You have to come out. Yes. Mm -hmm. That was a drama which was played by Jonah. Mm -hmm. Jonah chapter 2, verse 10. The guy to pay Senyai. Jonah chapter 2. And the Lord spake unto the fish. Ah, because it was prepared by him. God. And it vomited <laughs> out Jonah yes. upon the dry land. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this fish made a return. He can never live. That's why he can never God spoke, spoke to it, mm -hmm. and the fish vomited John. So that is a picture of the resurrection now, Pastor. Yes, mm. yes. That is the pic picture of the resurrection of the Lord. Have yeah. you noticed, Pastor, mm. uh, Parayan, Pastor Mzema, that when you have swallowed something and your body doesn't like it, mm. it uh, you, you have to vomit it. Mm. Mm. Uh, in English, they use the term, you throw up. Mm. When you throw up, it's uncontrollable. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that, that vomit comes with the power. Mm, possibly. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, it's, it's got some force. Mm -hmm. New resurrection, guys. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Philippians chapter 3, verse, 9, verse 10. <laughs> Philippians chapter 3, verse 10. <laughs> that I may know him with the power. He will get it, I say. That I may know him. Yes. And, and the, the power of his resurrection. And the power yes. of his resurrection. And the fellowship of his suffering. And the fellowship of his suffering. Being made conformable unto his death. Hallelujah. Mm. Romans yes. chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. Romans 1, verses 3 and 4. Concerning his son, Jesus Concerning Christ. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Yes. Which was made of the seed of David yes. according to the flesh. Yes. And declared to be the son of God with the power mm. according <laughs> to the spirit of holiness. Mm by the resurrection from the dead. He was declared with the power. There mm. is power in the resurrection. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when Jonah is out, you know, mm -hmm. when the Lord is out, mm -hmm. he, is, he, he, he is not the same as when he went into the grave. Mm -hmm. When Jonah comes out of the belly of the, of the well, mm -hmm. it's not the same Jonah who went in. Mm -hmm. He is different. Mm -hmm. he, now he has power mm -hmm. because he was, he, he was uh, launched out by the well. Mm -hmm. He was thrown out by the well. Yes. The mariners who were going to touch it who saw Jonah. And the people of Nineveh who saw Jonah. They saw a different Jonah. Mm -hmm. The Jews who saw the Lord on the cross. Mm -hmm. Who men handled him. Mm -hmm. And let the Gentiles crucify him. Mm -hmm. After his resurrection, mm -hmm. they saw a different Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because he was weak. He was mm -hmm. crucified in weakness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. when he was resurrected, mm -hmm. he is now with the power. Mm -hmm. Yes. He, he, he is found inside a room that mm -hmm. is closed and locked and the windows locked. He goes inside and he talks to them. Mm -hmm. He joins them in there. He's, he is with power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Acts chapter 2, verse 36. Acts chapter 2, verse 36. Fundai book 2, depends on your Therefore, Therefore let yes. all the house of Israel know assuredly yes. that God hath made that same Jesus. God has made that same Jesus whom you have crucified, the one that you put on the cross, both the Lord and the Christ. No, they are different. Yes, they are different. Yes. Second Corinthians 5, verse 16. He has been made Lord and the Christ. Yes. He is no longer the Jesus that was weak. Yes. He is power now. Because this, this powerful Lord mm. who is resurrected, he needs the power because he has to evangelize Nini. Yeah, yes. And 100% of the people of Nini yes. must repent. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh. So yes. he's got that power. That's yes. why Nini, my yes, he the book. Hallelujah. Amen. When that is, wherefore, henceforth know we no man after the flesh. Yes. Yeah. Though we have known Christ after the flesh. Although, you know, we have known Christ after the flesh. Yet now, henceforth, know we him no more. We don't know him anymore in the flesh. Yes. He is, he is different. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is the power of the resurrection. Yes. Now, the Lord goes to Nineveh mm. 
That is Jonah chapter 3 now. Mm. Verses mm. 1. Do uh -huh. So mm. the weight of the Lord came unto Jonah the uh -huh. second time, uh -huh. saying, mm. Arise and go to Nineveh, that great city, and mm. preach unto it. So the Lord now mm. is in Nineveh, which is the city of the elect. Uh -huh. And uh, he, is, he is there in the form of the gospel. Uh -huh. He preaches in the form of the gospel, uh -huh. and all the elect are saved. And that is the mystery of Nineveh. Mm. That is the mystery of Nineveh. He preaches to Nineveh mm -hmm. after the resurrection, mm -hmm. not before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me just say, touch on the 40 days. The 40, 40 days uh, uh, are the same uh, 40 years of Moses. Moses was in Midian for 40 years before he went back to Egypt. During those 40 years, according to, to, to Exodus chapter 2, verses 20 and 21, he stayed in the home of Jethro. He was invited to come and eat bread uh -huh. in the home of, of, of Ruel, uh -huh. the father of those seven girls. Uh -huh. When he is invited to eat bread, he is in the shoes of Christ. And when, when the Lord is eating, he is actually preaching. Uh -huh. So Moses was preaching. Uh -huh. the, the end of it, in verse 21, he was content to deal with men, and men ended up giving him a wife, uh -huh. Zipporah. Mm -hmm. who represents the New Testament church. So the Lord, according to Acts chapter 1, verses 1 to 3, after his resurrection, uh -huh. he spent 40 days with the apostles. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> verse, verse 2, until, until the day in which he was taken up. After that, he through the Holy Spirit had given commandments unto the apostles uh -huh. whom he had chosen. Uh -huh. to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proof, proofs, being seen of them 40 days mm -hmm. and speaking of the things. He was preaching, mm -hmm. speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. These are 40 yes. days is that Jonah is so much. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, show you the mystery of the 40 days of John. The city called Monsoon, the city called Monsoon, and did you know that Jonah was preaching there for 40 days? Yes. Uh -huh. These are 40 years is. These are 40 days Zaisha, 40 days Zaisha. The city called Mosul, today, if you go into Google, the city called Mosul, Pasa, there is a shrine in there, and it's guarded by the soldiers. You pay to get into the shrine. It's got the tomb of Jonah. That city called Mosul right now. Pane Guarno the tomb of Jonah. Some say that uh, it is uh, that tomb of Jonah was bombed very recently by the, the ISIS and, and them Islamic fundamentalists. I don't know how far true that is. But there's a tomb of Jonah in Mosul. This is telling us that Jonah died in Nineveh. OK. Just to play the drama of Christ. After his resurrection, the Lord is not going anywhere. Acts chapter 1, verses 9 to 11 talks about him ascending to heaven, right? Oh. It talks about his ascension there in, 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 in verse 1. But when you, you, you look at Mark chapter 16 now, verses 19 and 20. Mark chapter 16, verses 19 and 20. So then after the Lord has spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. That is his ascension, isn't it? Yes, and they went forth yes. and preached everywhere. Yes. The Lord working with them. Yes. And confirming the word with signs following. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Is he in heaven? <laughs> Did he go to heaven? <laughs> yes. And, and Matthew, Matthew 20, 20, 28, verse 20, say, he says, Lo, I am with you. Mm -hmm. Even to the, to the very end. Lo, I am with you, mm -hmm. even unto the end of the world. He yes. is in the form of the gospel, or in the form of the Holy Spirit. That is the yes. drama that was played by John. John. <laughs> yes. ah, let's, just, let's just conclude this. So this is the mystery of Nineveh. The mystery of Nineveh is that Jonah's 100% evangelism of Nineveh preaches the elect period. All the elect will be saved. No one will be left behind. That's why we're still preaching today. Mm -hmm. Because there are some part of the elect who are still not here. Mm -hmm. who, should, who, should, who should come here? And if you, if you, you, you go now to, to Ephesians chapter 5, verses 3 to 6, we are not going to read it. 
is talking about the mystery that was hidden in the ages past. Mm -hmm. That's the mystery of the salvation of the Gentiles. But mm -hmm. I want us to read Second Peter chapter three, verse nine. Yes. That that will be our closing verse. Second Peter chapter three, verse nine. Our, and the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as yeah. some men count slackness. Yes. But is, but is long suffering to us what? He is long suffering to the elect, yes. the people of Nineveh. Not willing that any should perish. He is not willing that anyone in Nineveh should perish. But that all should come to repentance. But that mm -hmm. all people of Nineveh should come to repentance. Mm -hmm. All the elect should come to repentance. Mm -hmm. All of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in closing. We did talk about the violence and the, uh, the, the violence and the brutality of the people of Nineveh. Mm -hmm. I want to bring it home a little bit. Do you remember in 1994, the genocide in Rwanda? In Rwanda, yes. Approximately 800,000 civilians were butchered, were massacred in Rwanda in 12 months. That is the brutality of the Gentiles. Right here in Zimbabwe. 1983 to 1985, mm. those three years, mm. approximately 20,000 20, people were killed by the Gukarawundi massacre, mm. the genocide. And those people were in towns. Those are the ones that were counted in towns. Mm. The people in the villages were not counted. And I, 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 I suppose there are actually more than those in towns. So that number could double or, or, or triple. That is how brutal mm. Gentiles are. Over, despite that brutality, God chose that amongst those brutal people. There is a special people mm. whose names are written in the book mm. of life. Mm. He wants them saved. Tisu anu ajo. Takaita brutality agadar. God has translated us from the power of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. Psalms 103, verse 10. Psalms 103, verse 10. 103, verse 10. He, God has not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. Yes. Uh -huh. Verse 8. The Lord is merciful and gracious. Because he is merciful and gracious. Slow to he anger. Is slow to anger to mm -hmm. us. And mm -hmm. plenteous us in what? When we need the elect, mm -hmm. he is plenteous in grace. Mm -hmm. Pastor, this brings the end of this same one, the mystery of Nineveh. Pastor Mzim. Yeah, Vangeli Yanga Gana Gamfuds, Pinotenda Mari, Neguziza Wataita. We really thank the Lord for unearthing these mysteries to us. We never knew that the book of Jonah, like what I said, as small as it appears, it's, 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 mm. it's pregnant with these mysteries about Christ. Uh, I have no much ways to say <laughs> uh, to demonstrate and exhibit how much joy I have inside me. Mm. about <coughs> this message. But all I can say is there is a lot to learn Amen. about Christ. Uh, the book of Jonah, I was looking, I was expecting to hear Jonah saying, the Lord said to me, the Lord said to me, but how did Jonah prophesy? Uh, we learned a lot. We have learned a lot. Amen. Jonah, it seems as if he was disobedient to the Lord. The message came to Jonah saying, Rise and go to Nineveh, that great city. It's wicked. Go and preach unto them before I destroy them. But instead of him to go to Nineveh, he actually diverted and went to, an oppo to a totally opposite direction. Which is even further. It was four kilometers. Four thousand. Four thousand kilometers. Mm. But Nineveh was just around 800 yes. kilometers. Mm. And we learned that when Jonah went to Tashish, it was Christ going to the law. Yes. So which means when Christ came here on earth, 
He had not come here to go to the law. He had come to go to the elect, but he could via not the law. via the law. He could not have gotten to the New Testament church without having gone into the law. Because he was supposed to, to fulfill all the prophecies that were given about him in the law. Those that were in the law were the custodians of the prophecies about the coming of Christ. So it was needful. He needs to come <laughs> to, to the law so that he could fulfill all that was written about him. So that us, the Gentiles, who were, uh, who were held captive by, by, the, uh, by idolatry, we could be delivered from that, uh, from that bondage and then begin to call the name of the Lord. And when the beast and the and when the people and the beast, Pastor Juma, yes, we 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 said to have fasted and and cried unto the Lord, this is what Apostle Paul said in Romans chapter ten verse thirteen, whosoever calleth upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So when the beast and the people called upon the name of the Lord, <laughs> uh, when they cried unto the Lord, actually, they were actually There's now it. giving testimony. Yeah. To God mm. about how they were uh, extricated from the grip of sin mm. to be brought yes. uh, into the New Testament church. Yes. Yes. So Galatians chapter 3 verse 28 it says there is neither Jew nor Greek, mm. there is neither male nor female, mm. there is neither bond nor free, but we are all one. It is because Christ paid the price by dying on the cross. We are now one in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. We yes. are now one. We are now the children of God. Yes. 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 So it is the love of God which brought Christ into the flesh so that he could die for us, the just for the unjust. Amen. We are now able to call upon the name of the Lord because Jesus died for us. Yes. And finally, uh, uh, first John chapter chapter two, Pastor Baloy. <laughs> first John chapter two, verse one and two. Uh, My little children, these things write I unto you. Yes. That you sin not. Yes. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father. Yes. Jesus Christ, the righteous. Yes. And he is the propitiation for our sins and not for ours only. Jesus is the propitiation. The propitiation, the, it means payment. Jesus, the payment for our sins, yes. But also the, for the sins of the whole world. Jesus did not pay for the sins of ours, for our sins only, but for the sins of the whole world. Now it seems as if Jesus did not die for our sins only, but for the sins of the whole world. But did Apostle John they meant, meant the sins of the whole world? The world, the world, the whole world there is talking about the elect. That's John chapter 3, verse 16. He's talking about Nineveh. He's talking about Nineveh. That's the mystery of Nineveh, right? There. So John 1 29 says, Behold the Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world. The world, they are the elect. So we really thank God for this ministration, Pastor Shuma. We learned a lot. Yes, thank you, Pastor Mzimba. I, I did ask the question that uh, if, if, if these people repent, these, these are Gentiles, uh, Jonah, they all repent, what do you do with them? <laughs> do you take them to Jerusalem? So mm -hmm. we have the answer now. Mm -hmm. The answer is John, John chapter 4, verses 23 and 24. Yes. Yes. They now worship God wherever they are, in spirit and in truth. Mm. That's the answer. Pastor Baloy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pastor, I, I really thank God for this ministration and for God using you to deliver such a wonderful uh, sermon. And I'm excited because uh, the book of Jonah was a mystery. Yes, I remember the first time attending to the Jonah series. I was actually surprised how God hid his word in such a book uh, and the way that Jonah prophesied, which Pastor Mzimba have mentioned. 
But Pastor, uh, I really enjoyed uh, the illustration, uh, the demonstration, if in the map, uh, when you spoke about the mouth of the, of the well and the belly of the well. Uh, and you demonstrated that he was not in the mouth. He just passed through the mouth. He went mm -hmm. straight uh, to the belly, which is the heart of the earth. He went to hell. But the grave now, because they buried him after his death, you see. Uh, and also, he could have thrown himself, Jonah, into the sea. <laughs> yes. He could have dived yeah. into the sea. Yeah. But we've read uh, in Acts chapter 2 where he was saying, your wicked hands. Yes. Huh? The Gentiles, mm. they actually uh, put their hands on the, on the Lord. Those the, are the mariners. The mariners. mariners. Mm. You see, the mariners, they represent people who do not have business exactly <laughs> in church. Mm. If, if the Old Testament represents... Um, if, if, if Tashish was representing the Old, the Old Testament, Testament. Mm. the Marainas, hey. they have nothing to do with, uh -uh. with Tashish. Uh -uh. Mm. They are there for whatever business. My dealers. They are dealers. Mm. They, there are certain transactions mm. which they are doing there. So the Marainas, because they didn't know anything about him. No. Mm. Uh, what we, 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 we have come to know from the book of Jonah is that uh, the son of man dispensation mm -hmm. It actually explained it to us uh, uh, quite a number of things. Yes. Uh, because they asked him, mm. who are you? <laughs> and what, what occupation? What do you do for, yeah. for a living? So people had to now understand yeah. the mission of Christ yeah. uh, because of the sufferings that he went through. Yes. Every time he was uh, with the mariners, mm. you see, they were always challenging him. Mm. Who are you? What do you do? Mm. Are you a king? Mm. What exactly are you coming to do? Remember that other day he spoke to Pilate yes. that uh, he was there to um, preach the truth. Yeah. You see? So all those things now, uh, they, are, they are very, very exciting and also they are humbling uh, to us to know. Amen. And um, we really thank God for that. And the, the kilometers... Uh, I liked the scripture which said he went out of the presence of the Lord, which means the, the, the journey to Tashish was actually out of the presence of the Lord. It was away from the presence of the Lord. And uh, it's, it's quite disheartening uh, for the Jews to hear that. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever they were doing in the Old Testament, uh, it was not to bring them uh, closer to God. <laughs> The Old Testament system is a system far away mm -hmm. from the presence of God. So we, we, we really thank God for uh, Jonah's commitment to even pay to go into a testament which he knew very well. This testament has no life. Uh, the commandments that were written there could not give people life. And God was not interested in the sacrifices and offerings that the Old Testament people were giving to God. So it was quite interesting and also enlightening, Pastor Chuma. He even paid for that. And when we see people now uh, doing whatsoever they are doing in Tashish, we want to know and to see, uh, did uh, Jonah arrive in Tashish? Or he wanted just to find a way by which or through which he was going to be in the bed of the well, which was going to take him to the resurrection, where he will now be preached unto all the people, the, 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 the elect Jews and the elect Gentiles. So this is quite amazing, and I hope, brethren, you have found this uh, sermon quite enlightening, and to ask the Gentiles to have a moment of reflection, to say this, is, this all happened for us, you see. Amen. So we, 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 we thank God, brethren, for, for this enlightenment. Very, very important. And the question that we're asking, why did they, all the people in Nineveh repent? Mm. And what is it to say even the beasts, they also <laughs> repented? Or the beasts fasted? <sighs> what kind of uh, a fasting that the, the, even the beasts would participate mm. in? That? Yeah. And even... 
uh, the scripture says, even the beast they put on the sackcloth. Yeah. You see, and uh, if you think about it, uh, your mind will actually start to <laughs> to to have boils, <laughs> and you will not comprehend it. But what we know now is all these things that are written, they are there for us to know the mystery Amen. of Christ. Yes. And we really thank God, Pastor Chuma, for yeah. that message. Yeah. We thank God, Pastor, this marks the end of the first segment.